Hello, 1851ers. I think we get more beardy every week. <laughs> um, I haven't shaved since the last so, one. So yeah, so we're doing we're doing well over here. Um, we're wrapping up our restaurant finance issue, so I wanted to go through a couple of things with you with with Troy here. Um, Troy, why don't you tell us a little bit about the end of the issue and, and some of the investment stories we ran? Well, we, we really broke it down by category. So we looked at three different tiers of investment, under $500,000 total investment, $500,000 to a million dollars, and then over a million. Obviously, there are vast differences with the amount of money that these investments require um, in a lot of different brands and a lot of different ways to get ROI through them. So uh, we took a, a look at it through three different lenses, if you will, on really interesting results inside those stories. That was great. I know a lot of people, we wanted to show readers um, a lot of a very wide range of opportunities in the franchise space. Um, there's a lot of different brands out there that people don't even know of or don't think of just because they can't wrap their mind about, around the different values um, that the brands and, and a lot of really useful information um, on restaurant franchises through there as well. Um, there's so many options out there. It can really be overwhelming very quickly. So oh, yeah. this is a great breakdown to help you decide which is which. Cool. Um, another important story we had this week was on the big strike that happened. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about that one? Sure. Um, this made headlines uh, really across the country and around the world. Um, this has been an issue that's been brewing for quite some time, um, really getting larger as the presidential race starts to become more of a forefront type of an issue. Um, several of the presidential candidates on both sides of the aisle weighed in on this actually, um, but really great piece um, in USA Today that ran uh, on Wednesday of this week, um, talking with uh, Mike Mabry from Muya Burgers, yep. Fries and Shakes. Um, and he really took the, the standpoint that a lot in the industry have taken, which is that this could be a slippery slope if we do go to $15 an hour. Yep. Um, Muya is paying between $9 and $14 an hour to their uh, employees right now. And even another boost of a dollar or two among those employees could result in franchisees having to raise prices. Um, that's an right. across the board thing from a lot of brands that are saying that. So um, really passionate feelings on both sides of this issue. Yeah, and I don't think, I mean, this issue is not going away. I think we'll continue to see stories um, through the rest of this year probably and early next year. So we'll keep you guys informed on those ones. Did you have any other fun stories from this week that you liked? Um, I liked uh, a plan to grow between 50 to 100 units. I think there's that sort of speed hump, if you will, at 50 units for a lot of brands where they have a hard time getting to that next yeah. level. Um, interesting to look at it through sort of the lens of how do you grow to the next step and take the next step in your brand. Um, so this was a really informative piece of how brands have been successful at it and some of the challenges they face when they do it. Yeah, I thought that was a great piece. My favorite piece was the barbecue piece just because I love barbecue so much, but um, that makes two of us. <laughs> this week was was jam packed with a lot of good stories. Absolutely, um, we are wrapping up the restaurant finance issue. The next issue is the political issue. Um, we got some really great stories coming for you next week and the following week um, as we continue to do these two week issues. Um, and really topical, of course, with all of the interest that's happening with the presidential race right now. Primaries are just a couple months away. Absolutely. So right right in the thick of things. Um, but that's pretty much it for the sizzle. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next week.